Do you want to become a UI UX designer fast? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you some tips that I learned over the past decade that are going to enable you to get into this field faster than I did. In fact, I actually took the long route. I actually started working and studying design in high school, and then I took a three years bachelor degree in a university in London at Ravensbourne. But over the past years, I worked with a lot of fellow designers and colleagues. And I noticed that uh, there's quite a few of them that uh, didn't really attend formal education and that managed to get into this field faster than I did. Now, in this video, I want to give you some core insights as to what is going to enable you to make the transition faster and also potentially cheaper than going to university. Now, that being said, I'm not going to discuss if uh, design uni, uni is worth it or not, because that's the topic for an entire other video. The core focus here is uh, how to get uh, into this field uh, within uh, less than six months. So it's going to be an um, intense period of time if uh, that's uh, your goal, but uh, it's definitely uh, doable and uh, what uh, I think is really important uh, is to get the work experience as fast uh, as you can, because that's where you're really going to make the jump uh, into, you know, becoming a professional and really a learning and, and speeding up all of uh, the learnings and knowledge that you need in order to really become a master in this field. So I would say that uh, when you're first starting out, there's going to be three pillar elements that you have to take in consideration. The very first one is that you need to learn the basics of design. And this includes the theory of, you know, color theory, typography, layouts, um, you know, design essentials like Gestalt psychology and uh, all of that really. So that is the most important thing to consider. And uh, secondarily, you're going to have the software knowledge that you have to take in consideration. So uh, learning a design tool such as Figma, Sketch, or Adobe XD. And uh, personally, I would recommend you to check out uh, uh, short courses on uh, those uh, and uh, potentially even on, uh, on uh, websites uh, like Udemy. So that would be the second element which uh, you absolutely need in order to get started in this field. And the third one is the portfolio because uh, as you're going to notice uh, very fast, uh, the portfolio is going to be one of the most important elements uh, in your career. Um, in most careers, the CV is the most important element. And uh, I would say that uh, um, the CV obviously plays uh, an important role for designers as well, but what you want to do is to get started and really create uh, the first projects. And this can be fictional projects, meaning projects uh, for not real clients, uh, or they can be for family and friends. So I would encourage you to get uh, the design basics uh, and uh, learning the software uh, as soon as you can in order for you to have the knowledge needed in order to really uh, be able to create some uh, projects uh, and then with the very first projects you're going to be able to create the portfolio and then land your first clients now the reason why the portfolio is the most important element uh, is uh, because it's going to show the potential to your clients uh, that uh, you have in order for you to tackle and uh, solve their business goals so for example, if a client is looking for a website design for a restaurant uh, company and uh, you happen to have uh, website designs uh, in the even just the food and uh, industries, uh, that is going to enable to, sh to show to the client that you have uh, the knowledge needed in order to uh, potentially tackle a similar project uh, and succeed and you're also going to have an edge compared to someone who just have logo designs in their portfolio maybe they're fully capable of creating websites but the fact that they have non-related um, elements uh, and uh, you know portfolio items in their portfolio is uh, not going to give them an advantage compared to you that this is something to consider but the question is how can i actually get started in this field and uh, where where do I learn all the previous elements that you mentioned in order to actually tackle and become uh, a UI UX designer. 
So there isn't really a right or wrong uh, um, answer. And uh, the answer is multifaceted, meaning that there's uh, so many courses on UI UX design. And I personally haven't took all of them, so I cannot uh, say which one is worth it, which one isn't, uh, because otherwise I would just, uh, you know, just say something which uh, is not based on my personal experience. But based on what I heard uh, overall in the community, uh, there is this uh, uh, Google certificate course by Coursera, which is uh, a, I believe it's a free course. Uh, and uh, that's a really good uh, uh, starting point in order to get started in UI UX design. And uh, I myself, I have a free introductory course, which is going to give you the basic understanding as to what you need uh, and also some uh, really great resources, uh, which uh, is a course on how to get started in UI UX design. It's completely for free. You can join by clicking a link in the description. And uh, this is going to give you some uh, basic understanding as to what uh, you need in order to really kickstart uh, your career in this field. Now, on top of that, uh, one common option uh, is to enroll uh, to a UI UX design bootcamp. Now, there's uh, different bootcamps and workshops. Uh, you can uh, find them locally in your area, especially if you live in a big city. But uh, you can also find uh, several which are remote. So there's definitely a lot of choice when it comes to the bootcamp. And uh, I would recommend you to attend one if uh, you have the funds. I wouldn't invest like too much money on it. Uh, just be conscious that some of the bootcamps are really expensive. And in my personal opinion, they're not really going to uh, give you like an edge, uh, like a significant edge for the price that you're paying. So uh, be sure to read the reviews. And uh, especially one big tip that I have for you is to try and contact past students that attended those workshops and, uh, and boot camps in order for you to have an insight if uh, it was valuable or not to them. And uh, ideally, if you can contact a student that has been uh, around in the industry for maybe like one or two years, he's going to have a better insight, uh, in my opinion, than someone who just graduated from the bootcamp. So because he's going to have more reference points in the industry, and uh, that's going to be really useful in order for uh, them to give you like more valuable insights. So this would be my personal recommendation. Um, it's something that a lot of people don't do, but it's, uh, it's definitely going to help you make the right decision and potentially save quite a bit of money. So definitely something to consider. And uh, on top of that, uh, um, I would just uh, start small. If you cannot find an internship uh, uh, right away, which it's understandable, internships uh, are also competitive these days. So you can start by freelancing and doing uh, uh, small projects. Uh, even don't, don't really think about the money whenever you're first starting out. Once you learn the basics and you have a basic portfolio, you just want to gather that client experience. And a lot of it is also learning how to deal with people. So it doesn't really matter like uh, um, uh, the client or, or, or the project, as long as you're in line and you know, you're kind of like 80% there in the ballpark, um, you're going to make a experience and uh, it's just simply going to help you speed up your uh, learning. When I first started out, uh, uh, I did uh, paid uh, gigs, I did free gigs, and uh, I also worked for startups and, um, you know, tried to do it all. And I can tell you that even when I was working for free for clients uh, that uh, weren't really, really ideal clients, I learned a lot uh, because you learn both uh, from uh, clients that you don't want to work with and also the clients that you do want to work with and also on the different type of projects. Uh, when you're first starting out, uh, everything is experience. So, just gather that experience because then you're going to get to a point where you're going to receive more and more opportunities and uh, you know the salary is just going to go up and uh, it's just going to be easier from there. So the struggle really is uh, in uh, the first part, if you wish, but then it becomes easier as uh, uh, you get more years uh, under your belt. So things to consider and um, yeah, this would be pretty much it. Um, I really hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If uh, some of you have some uh, work, uh, workshops, boot camps or courses to recommend a fellow 
designers who are, or, or actually students that are looking to get into this field, feel free to leave them in the comment section. That's going to help a bunch of other people. And I'll see you in the next video.